is made to pray. It is in itself already a, a prayer. This tradition presents the revelation of our church, the tradition of our church in a beautiful manner. So the texts that we actually sing are from Holy Scripture and from the tradition of the church. And so by singing this text, we are presenting the truths and the beauties of our faith. We have in the order, we have 800 years of Gregorian uh, tradition. What is beautiful is that we actually um, are internalizing these beautiful chants in our own way of life. So uh, often when you are uh, in the convent, the beautiful sounds and the beautiful music of the chant is still in your, in your head and you're still praying with it actually. It's, it's what St. Paul uh, says, unceasing prayer, so uh, prayer which continues and continues in the heart. In times like this, the first reflex would be prayer. It's not an easy answer. I think it's a, a profound, a deep answer. It's, we need to pray. So, the beauty of this is also, there are lots of people who don't really believe, and they are really touched by the beauty of the chant itself. So that means that something of the truth, of, of these beautiful texts, is being transmitted by the music itself. And if we believe, in theology we say that, um, that uh, God is really beauty himself, and everything which is really beautiful points directly to God. And I think if we want to bring Christ to the world, we can do it through beauty. Gratis,